Now be honest, pickle peep. How often have you done this? How often have you jumped on the computer like, like uh, saying, I have five minutes, I need to get this post done. I have five minutes, I need to get this image done. I got under five minutes. Um, I've done ones where it's like, I got one minute and I need to get this done now. And you jump in, you're in Canva, you're trying to grab a template, you're trying to pick the right template and everything template you look at sucks and everything is just like, ugh but you gotta get it done. And then you're trying to pull up your fonts and your colors and everything else. Well, Canva knows that you have this issue, so Canva is trying to actually help. And we're gonna cover that today under um, brand templates, okay? So, uh, if you followed my previous video, then you created a brand kit, which tells Canva exactly what to do. You can have your logo, your fonts and your colors. All of your brand information is stored and ready to go. And if you have multiple brands, then you saw how you can do multiple brand kits. Genius. Isn't that awesome? Like, oh, I could see doing brand kits just for projects and just like, oh, love it. It's so awesome. So awesome. But Canva took it one step further than the brand kit and created branded templates where they take all that information you just gave them and turn it into a bunch of templates. So that's what we're going to set up today. I'm going to walk you through the process. So we're going to go over um, how to create the branded templates, where to access, uh, where to access them. And then we're going to go through and we're actually going to make something off of a branded template. All right. So let's get to it, to the computer. All right. So we're in here, we're in the brand kit section of Canva and we got this option for create branded templates. So let's go ahead and click get started. It says on here to add your brand colors, fonts, and logos. Stay on brand with branded templates. Access your templates at any time. So let's get started. All right. So this is really cool. Now I set this up um, for my one business, which is the handmade how, which is you know, this one right here. It's what all of my trainings are under. And we're going to go ahead and figure out how to set up these brand kits. Now, I'll be honest, I have not done this before, so I am learning right along with you. Let's do it. So brand name here. Yep, I use HH. It's my abbreviation. Everything in my system is either M&P or HH. <laughs> Let's continue on that part. So I have my logo up in here. And actually, okay, so you can only have one logo in there, which I'll keep with that one. That's fine. Continue. Now add um, brand colors. So we chose for this one, I just went with a Canva palette here and I chose Jungle Vibe. I thought it was pretty cool. It's got my good greens in there. It's got, I like the navy blue. I like, this is a little bit too much of a Facebook blue for me. I'd prefer more of a teal, but we can work with it right now. So, oh, shuffle. Oh, take a look at this. So what this is actually going to do as I do it, click on it. I want the green. Ha ha. Look at that green. I love me the green. So I'm going to go ahead right there and I'm going to use that and there's going to be my pickle green. Okay. And if I wanted to change it up, look at all of these great other ones that I could use. Like I do love that minted grove. That's really pretty. Excellent. So now we're going to hit continue. And this is all about speed here is speed. We are going to put in our, it's already pulled in our branded fonts. So mine are the Orator and Lovelo for this. Um, Orator is technically an Adobe font that I bought the rights for so I can use it here. Um, you could always download fonts from things like Google Fonts or Defont or there's something with squirrels. I'll link those down below other places that you can find fonts if they're, if you're not seeing fonts that you love in Canva. Um, oftentimes I can just work with the ones that are in Canva, but I admittedly am not a font snob. So, all right. Or I try my best not to be a font snob. I don't need to be a perfectionist in that area. So we're going to click continue and boom. Now we're looking at templates. So we're looking in here and if I scroll, what are they talking about? They're talking about these. So they have an Instagram post. They have a, your story, Facebook post, email header, presentations, posters, business cards, feed ads, A4s. Oh, look at that. It's all like letterhead. Kind of cool. Invitations. Neat. So that's the minimal one. Let's take a look. So let's see what these are. So we have simple. That's really pretty too. I kind of like that with the yellow added in there. 
that's kind of really cool. Now, don't worry about the artwork that's in here. I am 100% certain, 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
I did not like that. There's that. Eh, it's not that great. That's pretty beautiful if I want to take this. So if you want to highlight everything, you can just click and drag over all of it. Boom. Say I want to put that in the top. Then I could have that down below. We can do that. We can move this to the middle of the page. That works too. We can drop it back down where it was. Actually, I'm going to drop it a little bit lower so we're not. There we go. And actually, I'm going to look. I have an idea. Let's go to Elements, Photos, and let's search for Color Streak. It gives me what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. Um, let's look for paint drip. Not horrible. Um, okay, so like I want this effect, but I want the pretty, not like the Halloween version. Let's see. Is there another term? So if you're, <laughs> let me know if you ever get in this situation, Pickle Peep, if you get to the point where you're like, you know what kind of image you're looking for, but you're thinking you might not be using the right words. I will always go in, open up and see what kind of words they are using to describe it. Look, spilling. So let's see, paint spill. Does that do it? No, that's even worse. Okie dokie, I'm going to call, I'm going to give up on this and not keep you hanging. So <laughs> this still gives you the idea of what we're looking for. That's not bad. That's even better. Okay. So I'll take that. That's boom. That's fine for this. And you'll see this up on my Instagram at some point. So this really tip was not a good example of like the super quick and easy because I got persnickety on what my background image should be. But the point of this is that you have templates preset up. So they did all of these templates. I might go in and create a bunch of custom templates in there. Let me know if you'd be interested in a couple of custom templates that maybe we could give away as a freebie, you know, when we hit 200 subs because we're almost there. So let me know if you're interested on that comment below pickle peep I'll be more than happy to make those up for you and there we go so go ahead check out the um the branding kit one if you like this video if you want to see more canva tutorials go ahead give this video a like subscribe to the channel below and comment with what kind of questions you may have what kind of things other canva trainings you want to see or other kinds of trainings always listening for what you guys want all right I will see you in the next one pickle peep Bye!